Hello everyone, how is it going to step around here? So today I'm going to show you on how to make a gunship landing tutorial or gunship assault tutorial. Uh, previously you might have seen Lieutenant Murphy's video on YouTube, you could check that also uh, for references. And the video is about four years ago and I think that some of the mod some of the tutorial might have changed a little bit because it's four years ago and right now I'm going to make an updated version of the tutorial video to you guys and without further ado let's get into the tutorial so the first thing that you want to do is go to the actor of your choosing which is the uh, gunship press 2 and over here I already have my gunship, it's filled with clone technician and after that, after you select your actor, go to the tags and add the tag, the tag of your choosing, I already have it and I named it zero and don't, don't forget to add an additional tag which is hidden over here so, Basically, if you only have one tag of your choosing, uh, which is in my case, it's zero, and there, there is no hidden tag, it's not going to work. The gunship is going to spin around in a circle on the uh, spawn point, or the uh, it's or it's going to just literally stand still. It's, it, it's, just, it's just not going to work. So what you need to do is add the hidden tag over here, press OK and then exit the tag menu and place the actor back into uh, out of the map's border and after you've done that you need to go to waypoint on your man of war salt square 2 editor and add a uh, waypoint group over here i already have it it's called lan and what you need to do is you need to add three tags for your gunship tag number zero one and two and the rest is i'm going to explain it a little bit later so what you want to do now is you need to set the command on waypoint number zero to have an estate command which is found here on actor go to estate and just set the spawning altitude of your gunship of your own choosing it's really up to you uh, whether you want to set it to 5 meters, 10, 20, 25 etc etc but in my case I already set it to 5 meters delete that again for me and after you've done that uh, you need to set the commands on waypoint number 1 to have an ice state again but this time it's going to be the ground is going to be checklisted so hold on a so the thing is um, once your gunship spawn right there on waypoint number zero uh, it's going to travel to waypoint number one and at waypoint number one the gunship is going to land to the ground and you need to also make sure that the altitude is set to zero because if it's set into minus one uh, below zero or above zero it's not really going to land and it's not going to stop the gunship and after that uh, the last waypoint for your gunship is going to waypoint number two and you need to add a command emit it's going to make sure that it's, uh, also the emit is found here on entity oh sorry on actor emit 
and then what you want to do is if you want to if you want your gunship to only uh, drop off your passengers and not the crew then you should select the passengers if you wanted the crew just select crew or all you can select in my case I select the uh, passengers because it's a gunship and the gunship after uh, it land it needs to take off again set that to passengers and after that you need to make sure that you have an additional waypoint over here so the additional waypoint which is waypoint number three is going to be the waypoint uh, when your passengers exited the gunship uh, the passengers is, are going to go to waypoint number three and after that they're going to travel to waypoint number four and just wait there so if you want to expand it you could expand it a little bit more and so this is basically it go to passengers and set the waypoint to waypoint number three click ok and you are good to go and after that once your gunship landed on waypoint number two you need to make sure that uh, it's basically up to you at this point you could make your gunship stop completely by just stopping right there on emit and then just not really bother with these three other commands over here but if you want to make sure that your gunship after landing it could take off again uh, you need to add three more waypoints over here waypoint number five six and then seven on waypoint number five uh, you need to set the air state to uh, on your choosing um, in my case I set the air state to two meters and then on number six is it's uh, the gunship is going to ascend to uh, the altitude of your own choosing I set the altitude to 10 meters uh, I should probably make that to 6 6 meters yeah. um, after that the final waypoint which is waypoint number 7 you need to add a delete command over here so delete is going to delete the actors after they reach this waypoint over here to conserve memory of course so your computer is not going to have some performance performance performances issues or such thing like that and after that once you've done uh, these three waypoints over here go back to waypoint number two and add an active state and set it to fast uh, it's going to make sure that your gunship move as fast as possible after they dropped off the your passengers or troopers into the ground and go to waypoint number five very quickly and after that you need to make sure that your gunship have enough time to at least drop off your passengers in my case it's four seconds you you could set it to six or maybe eight seconds it's really up to you and finally um active to waypoint set it to teleport and rotate to waypoint number five so to make sure that your gunship could uh, safely go into the sky again you need to add the little command over here active to waypoint and the waypoint is going to be waypoint number five and the approach is going to be teleport and rotate so after you've done that all of the waypoints over here you need to make sure that after your gunship dropped off your passengers uh, from waypoint number two to waypoint number three you need to make sure that the access state is uh, set to either fast or assault so the passengers are not going to slowly walk into the waypoint but rather they are going to uh, run as fast as they could based on your settings and to delete that and I think that's pretty much it for the waypoint 
and then we're going to move to the trigger you need to add a trigger for the uh, animation to play out for your actors to move your gunship to move just right click on your mouse and click out of there I already have it it's called LAN and what you need to do is you need to add in air state commands over here and after you've done that set it to the altitude of your own choosing I set it to 10 uh, which you could find there and then I'm going to delete this over here and then what you need to do is go to selector and make sure that your tag is choose is being chosen sorry after you make sure everything is okay over here the selector is uh, has chosen zero tag over here and the altitude is 10 meters you need to add an actor to waypoint command over here and you need to set it into a checklist the clone and the approach need to be either teleport and rotate or safe teleport and rotate I decided to teleport and rotate and you're going to see why I selected that and you need to again make sure that zero tag is selected over here or the tag of your own choosing okay so um that's pretty much it for the gunship tutorial and we're going to see the preview So I think that's pretty much it for the gunship assault or gunship landing tutorial. I hope you guys uh, could apply it to your own game. If you have some questions, you could ask me on uh, YouTube comment section and I will reply to any of it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys later.